My name is Michael Phillips and my business is Michael Phillips Photography. Um, I used to design my spaces for bands and uh, I thought it'd be cool to do the pictures for the bands and then I, st I got into photography and my space died so I, I kept doing the photography thing and it, it's worked out good. I just like being able to capture somebody's moments, like special moments and keep them, keep them so they can see them forever and ever. Um, I shoot with a, a Nikon D90 and I have a wide range of lenses from my 18 to 70 all the way up to a I think it's a 55 macro, so 18 to 70, the 35 millimeter 1.8, the 50 millimeter 1.8, and then the 55 macro. And then I have various lighting, such as speed lights, strobes, umbrellas. I think the whole music scene inspires me because there's a lot of photographers out there that shoot the whole music scene, and it's just it's unreal how crazy their pictures look. And seeing other people's wedding pictures and senior portraits is just crazy. So other other photographers inspire me way too much, like wedding photographers. And there's a there's a guy that lives in Norfolk, and he does ridiculous light lighting work, and all this stuff is just crazy looking. I like, a, I like a variety, like like I said, I do weddings, and then I'll go to the occasional like zombie, like pinup shoot, but, so I like, I like everything, anything that catches people's eye. It's just breaking the boundaries with like your pictures, just doing something that somebody's not going to usually do, it's going to draw more attention to myself and get more models to come to me, such as doing a zombie shoot or like a damsel in distress shoot, just draws more attention. I really like shooting in abandoned buildings. It seems to be the, the cool place to shoot, even though everybody else doesn't like it. It's, it's way cool and like really rustic looking. I would like to work with more bands, like higher up bands, you know, get get into the whole press press photography and do shoots for different magazines and all that good stuff. There's a there's a guy named Chris Martin that I look up to a lot. He does a lot of a lot of stuff for uh, AP magazine, but then he does all his weddings and he goes off and shoots like uh, the space shuttle launching and all that stuff. He's really good. I just I really love working with couples and just seeing them seeing them be happy and being able to capture that was really fun. Little kids are fun also because they're full of joy in life. I try and keep myself as professional as possible on shoots, but but to where I'm friendly enough to where they're gonna send me to other people or you know they're gonna come back for more shoots. So like I never I never do handshakes on shoots. I always do high fives just because they're way more fun. And I, I guess the tattoos do play a role because in one of my other jobs, like I have to I usually have to take my my gauges out and flip my septum ring up. My tattoos can show, but they just want. They want us to look as professional rather than just act professional. Because looking professional and acting professional is one, two totally different things. Like I could, I could dress in a suit, in a suit, and come to your shoot with a, a like a Nikon Coolpix, like a point and shoot camera. Doesn't mean I'm professional. 
but I could come in, cut off jeans and a V-neck and put my knock on and still take great pictures. Most of the time I'll just I'll stick with one standard price until I get a good amount of clients in and then I'll try and raise it maybe fifteen to twenty five dollars higher than that, depending on how many clients I get. Sometimes I'll throw in free prints or a free book. But a CD always comes with a shoot of all the digital prints. One single guy is, is weird. Many guys, it's okay. <laughs> we can take that widely out of context. <laughs> That's what she said. There we go.